The college campus in Muskoka has recently undergone some changes in its skilled trades department, sectioning off the workshop area to allow apprenticeship students the opportunity to finish their program and get fully immersed into the workforce. Yeah, especially for these level twos, it was really important for us to pull out all the stops uh, when it came to uh, keeping them safe, keeping their training going. Uh, this was the same group that a year ago when COVID happened, they were about two weeks into their program and of course we, we ended up having to cancel that one. Uh, just at the time we weren't sure what exactly what was happening with COVID. Uh, now we've got the protection in place and protocols in place to keep them uh, to mitigate the risks for them. Um, with this particular group, obviously the apprenticeship and construction trades in, in particular is, uh, is really important for the local job market, for our employers and for the community in Muskoka. By dividing up the, the workshop into four specific areas with framed walls and poly, that's uh, kind of divided them up. They're in their own little pods. They, they stay with the same group of students the whole way through the, the training and it just minimizes the amount of contact. For student Blaine Lovelock, being able to come back and finish this program after it was cancelled by COVID last year is a great feeling. Oh, it's, you know what, it's a huge, uh, huge side of relief for all of us, really, because every time you miss a year, as, as we did last year, it's not just us as carpenters, it's every trade. If you, they only offer certain levels of schooling at a certain point in the year. You have your level ones, twos, and threes, mm -hmm. doing it at a different interval throughout the year. So if an electrician or a carpenter, whoever, misses their level two, they're an entire year out before they can do it again. And then from that point, they can maybe do their level three and carry on from there, but it puts you a whole year behind in progressing your career. Fielding says throughout the campus in Muskoka, COVID safety is the number one priority aside from making sure these students continue to get the education they need to get into the workforce. So really at Georgian College, We've kind of focused on really that enhanced PPE and lab protocols. So that what that really entails is just doing more than just the bare minimums and really working to make sure that the students are successful in their training program. We can complete them. 